we mentioned, child care centers in Rhode Island are scheduled to open June 1st. We're getting a better idea of what this new normal for children returning to the centers is going to look like. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joining us live from Providence. And Kate has been reading through those new guidelines for providers, right, Kate? That's right, and we're live outside the state house this morning because today is actually Child Care Awareness Day. Usually, the day would be marked with a march, among other things, and that march would be from the convention center to the state house. But this year, that's still going to be virtual. But we're talking about child care centers, of course, because in less than two weeks, on June 1st, they're expected to reopen here in Rhode Island. And here's a look at what that plan for reopening will look like. Everyone will be placed into what's called state groups, which are the same 12 people or fewer every day. That means 12 people maximum for at home daycares, including the people who live there. And that's the limit on children and workers in the same room at daycare centers. Everyone will be screened at the door and anyone with symptoms they can't explain will be sent home until they're tested or get a doctor's note to return. The state will provide forehead thermometers, but say that's up to the provider if they want to do daily temperature screenings. The guidance says children over two have to wear face masks, but it's also not reasonable for children that young to wear them all day as it may hinder speech or social development. And if they're with the same group of people, they might not have to. Governor Raimondo is asking for patience as the state's more than 900 child care settings start to reopen. We'll be supporting child care centers with 50,000 surgical masks. Um, it's just a, a way to help them get started, to give them 50,000 surgical masks, to keep to keep them safe and the, and the kids safe and give parents a sense of peace and comfort and confidence that it is going to be safe to return your kids to child care. Back out here live, the ninth annual Child Care Awareness Day will again be a virtual event. And this year, as you can imagine, it will be focused on keeping families, children, and child care facilities safe during this COVID-19 crisis. And you'll be able to watch that virtual event at 11 o'clock until noon this morning. And it will be live streaming on the Capital TV Facebook page. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.